Imagine a thriving city immersed in the beauty of Campania Felix. A bustling place of life, with bustling streets, merchants, artisans, and citizens. The smell of fresh bread mixed with the aroma of sacrifices offered in the temples, while Mount Vesuvius, considered an extinct volcano, stood watch over the city. The Tragic Eruption of Mount Vesuvius It was 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius, believed to be dormant, erupted with unprecedented violence. On the morning of August 24, a series of earthquakes announced the impending disaster. The sky darkened and a rain of ash and lapilli began to fall incessantly, burying Pompeii and the surrounding cities of Herculaneum and Stabiae in an apocalypse of fire and ash. Debated Issues What do we know about this catastrophic event? International historians have debated many aspects. Causes What factors determined the eruption? Could it have been predicted? Chemical and stratigraphic analyses have reconstructed the complex dynamics of the eruption, identifying different phases, an initial gas explosion, followed by a pumice flow, and finally a pyroclastic flow that engulfed and carbonized everything in its path. The eruption's magnitude has been estimated to be far greater than that of Krakatoa in 1883. Timeline Exactly when did the eruption occur? Were there different phases or a single devastating event? Thanks to archaeological finds, such as letters and graffiti, and the analysis of organic remains, the date of the eruption has been set at August 24, 79 AD. The eruption lasted for about 24 hours, with a paroxysmal phase culminating in the pyroclastic flow that destroyed Pompeii. Victims How many people died in Pompeii and the other cities? What was their daily life like? Estimates speak of around 20,000 victims in Pompeii, Herculaneum, and Stabiae. Archaeological excavations have brought to light the remains of these people, frozen in the moment of their death. Their expressions of terror and pain tell us about the drama of those moments. Rescue attempts Were there any attempts to save the inhabitants? How did the Roman Empire react to the tragedy? Historical accounts, such as those of Pliny the Younger, tell of escape and rescue attempts. Emperor Titus sent aid to the affected cities and ordered the reconstruction of Herculaneum and Stabiae. Pompeii, on the other hand, remained buried for centuries, becoming an incredible time capsule. The Room of the Lovers Two bodies embraced, caught in death while seeking shelter. A heartbreaking image that testifies to love and fear in the face of the inevitable. The two bodies, wrapped in an eternal embrace, have become an iconic symbol of the tragedy of Pompeii. Pliny the Younger The nephew of the famous naturalist Pliny the Elder, who lost his life during the eruption, described the event in detailed letters, providing invaluable historical testimony. His letters, addressed to the historian Tacitus, recount the dramatic hours of the eruption and his experience as an eyewitness. The Earthquake Theory 
Some scholars hypothesize that a high-magnitude earthquake preceded the eruption, triggering the collapse of Mount Vesuvius. This theory, supported by some archaeological evidence, could explain the violence of the eruption and the high number of victims. Pompeii remains a fascinating enigma. Its destruction reminds us of the fragility of life and the uncontrollable power of nature. But the buried city has also given the world an incredible archaeological legacy, allowing us to relive a bygone era and reflect on our own history. Subscribe to the channel for more fascinating videos on history. Thanks for watching.